Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and oh boy, do I have a fun video for you guys today. So what we're going to be doing today is reading crazy Briar reviews on Amazon. I originally got this idea from someone that posted a couple funny reviews to Amino, and the person that did that was Kelsey Gugamini. I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong. But they posted a couple of crazy reviews for models, and I was like, oh my gosh, how fun would it be for us to actually go through and read some reviews together? So let's get started into this. We'll just type in simply Briar into the Amazon search thing. And first, let's start off with a classic here with Misty and Stormy model and book set. So here's the product. Oh, and they actually have some other horses on here as well. The classic Misty and Stormy, you know, these models have been around forever and they're really a staple of Briar models. So it has a pretty high rating. 84% of the views are 5 stars, but there's also some 4 star, 3 star, and even 1 star reviews. So let's go down here and actually read some of the reviews. This first one here gave it 2 stars. And this is actually, I guess, for the Little Prince. It's not for Misty of Shigatig. But they said the pony is great, the book not so much. I read it to my daughter and had to edit quite a lot of dialogue. The descriptive narrative was surprisingly well written, but the dialogue was terrible. Poor attitudes, negative dysfunctional relationships, references to crude gestures, unnecessary words, <laughs> but heck, etc. And I don't know if they mean like actual butt heck and etc. Or if they mean like the words that are the little bit more not as child friendly ones. I, I don't know exactly. <laughs> and some awkward innuendo that was just inappropriate and unnecessary. I was glad I was reading it with my child instead of letting her read it alone. You'd do much better to buy the plastic Briar Shetland Pony by itself and then purchase higher quality literature. Misty of Shigatig and two sequels by Margaret Henry or Black Beauty by Anne Swell. Both of those have the same appeal for horse lovers, but without the low bro, brow, brow, low brow, what, <laughs> writing? So this person liked the Briar model, but they did not like the book at all. And didn't apparently think it was really necessary for kids and not a very well-written book. This review, I'd like to talk more about it, but I actually haven't read the Little Prince book, so there's not much I can say. So what's interesting on here is there's actually two reviews about the colors of the models. They didn't like that they're painted a mouse brown instead of the beautiful Palomino and orange chestnut color. Which, I mean, the new ones are a different color than the old ones. And then the next review says something of the same thing. And they actually gave it one star. This person was not happy. They said, I'm sorry, I grew up with the first Briars, Misty, and M. Henry's book. These models are so wrong and off. It's offensive. Oh my gosh, guys. Because Briar painted the models differently. It's offensive. Oh my gosh. I would guess that, again, the scammers and fake producers have somehow gotten into this little rip-off of Amazon customers' niche and are making knockoffs. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Is this person- what? They said, it's that bad. Misty is baby yuck brown in this set, not the light golden tan that she should be. Please see the pictures compared to the original Misty and the way she should look. The model is not as detailed as the original, not even close. Oh my gosh. My camera does not do justice, but if you look hard, you can tell. The main tail, etc. just not even close to the same mold. Now my girl here is old and a little scuffed but faded and she's properly painted. The detail is not there. It's like someone said, oh, we'll just put a splotch here and hope for the best. The eye is weird. And Little Stormy is just way off in the paint job and molding. I am saddened and disappointed. If you are buying this for your child to bang around and read, I'm sure they would not mind or even notice. If you are a true Misty and Briars fan, run, this is not the real deal. It's a knockoff and a bad one at that. Very bad waste of money. Do not buy. Go to eBay or collectors if you want the real deal. Hold on a second. So clearly this person is a Briar collector, but... Why are they saying it's a knockoff? These are these are produced by Briar. They're in they're not knockoffs. This is a legit Briar. I I I I I don't understand in not as much detail. Do you have nostalgia glasses on? This person has nostalgia glasses on, guys, because there's no other explanation as to what they are talking about. How I the old ones 
I mean, of course, the old ones are great, and, you know, I'm a vintage briar collector, so I, I know. But, like, the old one is, a, is, like, yellowed and stuff, and the new one, it is a nice white, bright plastic. You can even tell the new one has more detailed eyes and a more detailed muzzle. And I don't know what they're talking about, the mold being, like... I mean, the mold probably does, like, has lost a little detail over the years, but they're they're the same mold. It's It's not a knockoff, and just because... It's a different color because Briar's not going to paint the same exact color over and over again on a model they've been producing for years and years and years. I just, I don't understand their review. I, I don't understand why, why there should be hate. If you want the old Misties, then buy the old Misties. If you don't like the new ones, I, I don't understand. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just making me laugh though, that they like are saying it's so bad and not to buy them. It's, I, I just don't get it. And then there's again another misty one. Another person saying that the color is way off and they're much darker. I just, to me, it's like, hey, they've been making the same models for decades. They probably do want to change it up a little bit. And I just, I don't understand. I don't understand people's thinking sometimes. Holy cow, there's just so many reviews on here. I'll read a couple more quick bad reviews on the misty one. And then we'll move on to a different model. This is actually for Little Prince. One person says, doesn't stand. The Little Prince mold does have trouble standing sometimes. This overpriced is horrible quality. Not only is it much thinner plastic than the old school briar horses, this one doesn't even stand. It falls right over. I purchased other briar horses for Christmas and they stand okay. Not too well, but they stand up. This one falls over in a split second no matter what. Dollar, dollar store quality? What? Hold up. Hold up. Now, the Little Prince mold isn't, or the little, like, Shetland Pony mold, uh, Little Prince, that model and mold is not my particular favorite, but dollar store quality? Do, have you people seen Dollar Tree horses? Those don't even look like horses half the time. They're, they're terrible looking. You can't say that Briar horses are dollar store quality, okay? I'm gonna defend Briar, because it's, what? Ah! Also, again, people have their nostalgia glasses on. Oh, it's not as good as the old school briar horses. Mm, actually, they are. It's just maybe this particular model wasn't to your liking, but it's it's not dollar store quality. <laughs> oh, these are too funny. Another person said it was a piece of junk. Don't buy it. Um, okay. Uh, another person said they didn't like the book. Again, I haven't read the book, so I can't agree to that. But if a lot of people say the book's not good, it, it might not be. I don't know. And most of these bad reviews are actually for the Little Prince model, not for the Misty ones. Well, some are for Misty, but most of these are for Little Prince. Again, another person said their model wouldn't stand. Daughter was super upset. Very disappointed. Horse will not stand due to defects in legs of horse. Went online and now over $75. Wanted to exchange and list does not offer, offer that. Should not have to pay $75 for same horse... How are you people paying $75 for a little, little, tiny Briar Shetland pony? What is going on with that? I'm thinking they must just mean that they saw, like, those really crazy, random, high-priced Briar model things when sellers, like, have models up super high or whatever. I, I don't know if that's what they're referring to, but yeah, Little Prince is definitely not worth $75. Well, let's move on to that. Let's find a different Briar product here. I noticed these Stablemate sets have uh, three and a half stars. They're not quite as high as the Misty one was. I guess we could go ahead and check that out. Here is the Briar Stablemate Deluxe Animal Hospital set. There's also the other ones too. There's the English Playset, Friendship Full Pocket Barn, Horse Crazy Pocket Barn, Red Stable Set. Oh, I have this one, the Riding Academy set. And there's also the Riding Camp playset and Horse Crazy stable set. And so let's see what the reviews on these stable mates are. For one person, one of the models broke, but they said update that they emailed Briar and Briar actually replaced it for them. So that's super awesome. Warning, takes hours to put together. Use glue. And this is for the Deluxe Animal Hospital set. I don't know about hours to put together. I had the classic Christmas experience of spending all afternoon drinking brandy in my tea and painstakingly gluing with crazy glue a dollhouse for an overly excited, sugar-crashed five-year-old. I'm so glad I built models as a child. All these skills were needed to put this thing together without mistakes. 
I don't know about, I've, I don't have this particular set, so I can't say exactly, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't take hours to put together. I've put together some of the other little stablemate barn things before. They're fairly easy to put together. I, I don't, I don't see what the, what the trouble is with that, but uh, okay. There's the Briar Spirit and Lucky, this is Briar, right? Yeah, <laughs> the Briar Spirit and Lucky Horse Doll Gift Set. This is classic sized, and they also have Boomerang and Chica Linda and all that. Mostly the reviews seem to be that people aren't happy about the quality and that the doll's legs are breaking a lot, so that, that kind of sucks. These ones aren't even funny, they're just like, oh no, apparently there's a problem with everybody's legs breaking. I will say for the most part, on most of the Briar Horses, they have pretty good reviews overall. It seems like the classics and the Stablemates set things, or the toy things, are the ones that are getting the worst reviews because of them breaking and things like that. But overall, most of these Briar reviews are super high. Let's see what people think about the wooden deluxe Briar barn. I do have this barn and I love it. It is so cool. I got this for my birthday or Christmas or something at some point. Maybe it was my birthday. I don't know. Again, the one star reviews are all about just like having trouble putting it together and the quality not being very good. <laughs> Here's one. Nice but too big. My kids like it, but it's too big and bulky. Only large horses can really fit in there. This is a case of people need to like really read and research their stuff before they buy it. Would work well for Barbie, I think. Actually, I don't think it... Well, maybe a Barbie horse could fit in there, but... It's not easy to use with other barnyard animals due to the size. It was also very difficult to put together. I believe it took me two hours. But yeah, reading the measurements of this item when it's completed and what scale of toys is meant for it would help uh, avoid that problem. This is the Briar Traditional Blanket and Shipping Boot Set, which I have quite a few of these actually. I am probably not the first buyer that was misled. Payment is for the blanket and boots only. No horse included. Briar obviously not interested in any clarification when the existing presentation ensures to their benefit. If they did not mention that the horse is not included in this, which I don't know if they did or not, let me check. It's not specific that it doesn't include the Briar horse, but it does only say that you get the shipping boots and the blanket. Now the Briar Traditional Cimarron Western Pleasure Saddle does not have the best reviews, only three stars, actually a lot of one stars. Again, there's another person saying the horse wasn't included. It tells you you get a saddle and a saddle pad, not, not the horse too. Although again, this is more the seller's fault for not saying more explicitly that the horse is not included. Again, more people saying, <laughs> I thought it was the horse too. Only a saddle, no horse. Guys, do you really think it's going to be $20 when you compare it to the other Briar horse prices when a traditional horse is normally about $40? You think you're getting the tax set and the horse for only $20? Like, unless you're buying secondhand? I don't know. I feel like people don't really use common sense. Again, another deceptive. The horse is not included. Ah, uh, here's the Briar Nylon Halter with Lead Rope 3-pack. I think I actually did get this set at one point. And I don't know if they're really any different from where they were before, but they are a little, they're not, they're not the greatest, I'll admit. This is like a Briar tack piece I would not recommend getting. Definitely recommend getting from, like, people that make tack stuff instead. Because there's a lot of amazing tack makers out there that make better little halters than this. But I'm curious what the reviews are. Yeah, here's, here's what I thought that was going to probably happen. I was expecting to get what was pictured, rope-style halters. That was not what I got. They are very cheap and delicate. They are adjustable, but still way too big for my traditional horses. Will be returned if possible. And here's actually a picture of what they actually look like. If Why is this not wanting to show the picture? It is not letting me show the picture of them. But the material they show in the picture is not like what they actually come in. And I don't know. Again, I'd agree that this is not something I would recommend getting. I'd rather recommend you get it from other hobbyists if you want a nice halter for your horses. Because these particular Briar ones are just, they're, they're not as great compared to the rest of Briar's tack line. And by the way, there is a lot of good reviews for a lot of these things. I'm just not showing them mostly because we're, we're talking about the bad reviews in this video. Alright, let's end off with the model that had reviews that made me want to do this video in the first place. Which is Brookside Pink Magnum, the Welsh Pony. Is he discontinued now? I think he is. But there's some some interesting reviews for this guy.
Or I should say a, a interesting review. I think it's only one that's really funny on here. Here's one kind of funny one though too. It says, not happy, these are expensive toys and should be made with better quality control. My five-year-old broke two legs on this one and it cracked in half. Which, you know, that that's never good, but also, mm, I don't know how rough your child's playing with them, but the traditional briars are technically meant for eight years and up. So, just just saying, just saying. But here's here's the last review to end off on that's really funny, I think. It's, it's... Rather ridiculous, and there's actually two <laughs> comments on here that are hysterical, too. Oh boy, so here we go. The horse is male and anatomically correct, which th that is not spelled correctly. This was to be a Christmas gift for my four-year-old grandson. It doesn't look like the seller put it on here, but these, these ones are technically kind of meant for a little bit older, eight years plus kind of thing. I mean, I did play with traditional briars when I was younger than eight and stuff, but... That's, that's beside the point. They said, sadly, it doesn't look like the one in the photo. I mean, if you got, if, if you got this, then that's the one in the photo, unless they somehow got, like, oh, what's his name? That other one, that bay, bay pony on this mold. Bouncer, duh. If they got, like, Bouncer accidentally or something, I, I don't know, or if they somehow got sent a classic one or something, I, I don't know. They said, it's a male horse, which is anatomically correct. While my grandson knows the proper name for body parts, my daughter knows he will point it out to his friends, most of which are not familiar with anatomical parts, and she fears some of their parents might object to their child being told the names of these parts. We are sending it back, and she has picked out a different time toy to take its place. When I order things, I expect to get what is presented in your photograph of the item. The one in the picture is void of any parts... Um, I, again, I don't know if maybe Amazon had the, like, wrong picture up or something, but you, you can tell this horse is his stallion in, well, not this picture of him, but really in any of these other pictures, you, you can tell he's, he's a boy, he's a boy horsey, you don't have to look that hard. The one in the picture is void of any parts for my grandson to be the one to inform his friends, not all parents even use anatomically correct names for the body parts. There's nothing wrong with the product, just presents that what could be found offensive to by his friend's parents. The one star represents failing to portray accurately what the actual product is that I'm buying. Again, I don't know what you got, dude, or lady, or dude, or whoever, lady, I guess. I don't know what the picture showed you at the time, but this is it. You, you, you get it, this is showing you, this is showing you what you're getting. And also, it is a little a little crazy. I mean, if your four-year-old grandson is doing that, then maybe you should just inform him that that's not something to appropriately talk about. This doesn't really have anything to do with the product. It's more maybe it has to do with the parenting and stuff. Just, if, I, I don't know, or maybe wait to give this toy to your child until they are a little bit older. I think it's really weird that they have to, like, blame the product for it. I know they're doing one star for failing to portray accurately what the product actually is, but it, it doesn't. Those pictures show you what you're getting. You're getting a male horse there that is anatomically correct. I don't see what the dealio is with that. Also, if you try to get like any horse toys for kids, you're gonna get anatomically correct horses pretty much wherever you go. Schleich horses, safari, this is more of a parenting thing than an actual problem with the products. And then the two comments on here are funny. Someone said, petting zoo visits must be a bloody nightmare for you. And then someone else said that briars aren't really made for young children. They had the parts for detail and it did say it was a stallion. So that was, that was an interesting review. And we're going to end the video there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Something a little different that I thought might be kind of fun. In the comments down below, let me know if you have come across any funny or crazy product reviews before. And it doesn't have to be Briar. It could be like anything that you've just seen crazy reviews for. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone! Mm -hmm.